Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, I hope that you are taking the time out to pay attention to the spirit totems as well as the signs and the synchronicities that are coming towards your way. That's allowing you to know the things that are, will be occurring or has occurred towards your new channel. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And also, if you are um, comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just not telling me about your impact that gives how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if uh, you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And, um, let me see, I had to write down something real quick. And today, this beautiful music I got in the background is 528 Hertz, music of positive change. Raise vibrations, boost happiness, and positive energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, we create our own realities, so make it positive as possible. You should. I mean, we're heading into a new chapter, y'all. A lot of us, it's like separating from the old things. We're looking at new ways to solving our issues through our day daily uh, struggles or daily, you know, goals or whatever you want to call it, whatever may have you. Um, and there's a lot of different things just coming along. And it's just like you're on this new me, new, you know, new, new, uh, new me, new thing do. You know, uh, basically, I'm trying to say, you know, my own little way. Um, we're all heading towards different, you know, paths in our lives. We're, you know, we're on a journey of self-discovery. There's a, ow, ouch, sorry, y'all, my, my cat Irma is in here since it's th thunderstorming outside. She want to come in here and annoy me a little bit. So, uh, when you're going through all these new different things now, you know, there might be good things that are coming towards you, like many blessings, or there's a lot of things that is occurring into your life. You may not even understand because a lot of these, uh, uh, you know, uh, different gifts that you probably didn't even know you have had is starting to be activated. You know, like I've told y'all a couple of months ago, um, the universe is uh, activating evolutionary, like the next new empaths are coming up so a lot of the uh, uh, evolutionary uh, empaths are starting to be recruited as well so it's just like a lot of them are not knowing exactly you know what's going on if you feel like you might be or you want to see if you're like one of those ev evolutionary um, um, empaths I've also got a video here I'm gonna try to see if I can find it and I'll post the link in the description box or if not, you can always Google it because that's where I got mine from. You know, Universe uh, sent me towards that way to be able to talk about those different things that are occurring. So, so many of us are coming into our power. You're starting to become more confident and more comfortable in the things that you're able to do. Uh, a lot of things are starting to come uh uh, come in a lot stronger than they were before you're probably if you you know if you're clairvoyant you're probably being able to uh, talk to a lot of people over in the you know on the other side or there's things coming towards you either it can be through a daydream or a dream you know your, your dreams are getting very vivid um, there's times like it just depends on if I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one, you know I, I always tell people if you're not comfortable with dropping a line always you know come check me out on Facebook you know you can uh, send me a quick text let me know hey I'm from the YouTube family you know Rosalind I want to talk to you a lot of people have been guiding towards my way that you know don't feel open or comfortable with opening up and saying something on the channel so they always try to step you know you know get in touch with me on um, on messenger so I can be able to talk to them everything we talk about is always confidential you know I help out as much as I can if I if I don't know the answers I would definitely send you like links or videos that has helped me along the way if I really can't truly explain it to you like you need to have or I don't have the answers that you're looking for so you know I always try to guide people towards that way but there's just so many different things that are occurring in our lives that we have to be able to be positive because there's days you know it's not gonna always have a bright day you know I've been you know I'm going back and forth with things you know my ego had me 
you know, draw back to this. You know, you can be in a, you know, in the new thing, and it can be one thing that can trigger you. It might lead you right back, and you have to be able to bring yourself right back. Like, ah, no, I'm not going back that way. You know, there's new things coming into your life, so darkness is going to be kind of perturbed at you, peeved. So they're going to send people towards your way to either be negative towards you, start arguments, or things can be misconstrued. So all these different things are coming along in there as well, because you know. Everything has to have a balance. Yes, you have all these powerful, you know, powerful, positive new vibes that are coming in. But there's also, they're going to be a negative balance too. So you might have little things. I'm like, thank God, mine's not really that bad. You know, if I have that moment, I always call my archangels. Give me the strength to deal with this person. Or any, please give me the strength to deal with this situation. So, you know, I, I try to meditate, you know, do what I have to do. It's just a lot. Of, lately, I've been getting these really bad headaches. Because it's like when the vibrations come, it's like my third eye is like sending so much pressure. It's like I'm like, you know, it's like that vibration and stuff off the front of my forehead. Like my forehead ain't big enough. So you got to bring all that vibration towards that five head of mine. So I'm dealing with all different stuff like that as well. But it's being more in tune. It's like if you have a twin flame, you should be able, you're not into union. You can be able to connect with them as well. Or, you know, like I tell people, there's a lot of people that have more than one twin flame. It does not have to be romantic. It be same sex. It could be a best friend, you know, that you didn't know that was um, contracted towards you from different prior lives that y'all are finally getting in contact now. Or, you know, like I tell people, some people just assume when it's like a twin flame, it has to be romantic. It doesn't always have to be romantic. You know, me and my father our twin flames but also we have also been you know husband and wife a few times twin brother and sister actually twin identical twin brother and sister a few times he's my father in this life and you know lives before that he's been my best friend he's been my cousin he's actually been my son so there's different times you know the more the closer you're getting to your twin flame you're probably being able to connect to your other past lives because there's a lot of times you know I've been connecting with people and it's just like like I tell people it's funny to me I'm like an empath social worker so it's like you tell me about your life and if it's in tune with me and spirit allows me to be in tune with your life. They allow me to see things either from the future or either from your past that you need to come into contact with or you need to be acknowledged with. Or is there things occurring towards you that might be an omen I had to be able to warn you about. There's a lot of things that I've been connecting with people. And being, I'm thinking it's from their past life and it was actually a mirror image so it was something in their, you know, their, their life you know, forward, you know, in the future that I had to give them omens to. So, which was a beautiful blessing to me. There's a lot of people that have been getting in contact with me, asking me, you know, for advice and all these different things. What should I do about this? You know, these things are occurring in my life. Is there something I need to be worried about? Or is there more things that I can be able to expect with this certain situation and blah, 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 you know, this, that, and the third. So, you know, all these things are appearing into your life for a reason. You know, it's, it can never be good. It can never be be bad you know universe does not see good or bad they just see energy so it's just like if there's things that are showing up to you and it's bringing heavy energy or bad energy you have to pay attention to yourself either it's your thoughts that you're projecting out or there's things that you're you know you're taking in or there's people you need to be aware of that are bringing these energies towards you because like I said darkness is like on one right now <laughs> so they will send different people towards your way that can be very toxic towards you so you have to be able to pay attention and say is this person actually worth dealing with at that point so um, I'm gonna pause for the call y'all my cat's trying to be distracted hold on just a second Sorry about that, y'all. My cat is, when she knows that I'm busy doing my videos, she's like, oh, I'm going to go sit over here. No, you're not. <laughs> there are certain places you can sit at. She has to have her own cat blanket. But yes, all these different things are occurring into your life. So you know you're heading towards a new chapter or you're about to head towards a new chapter. A lot of people are starting to step into their new chapter. And there's like, we've been doing so much light work. You've probably been getting drained out the whiz way. So it's like a lot of different things are coming. You're going to probably have to take more frequent breaks than you usually do. And that means you need to also meditate because, you know, you done pushed out so much energy. And you're probably getting stuff back. So it has you all all over the place, but you need to get aligned and unbalanced. So I have to do the, the same thing as well. So um, all these different things are occurring, but you have to really be able to monitor, monitor your thoughts. I'm getting tongue tied here. Monitor your thoughts because right now things are manifesting very quickly and you do not want anything to be something you don't want in your life because I always tell people they're like oh I don't want I'm like eh. 
We don't want to talk about that. And we're going to talk about what you want to happen in your life. You, you know, if it's something negative, just ask them for guidance. Ask them for protection. If you know you're trying to separate yourself from that, you know, everything's free will. You can always ask your archangels, whoever you prefer to talk to. Because there are certain ones you got to talk to about certain things that are occurring in your life. You pray on them. You ask, you know, you beckon them, whatever. And they come down and help you with those different things. So allow yourself to be able to be welcomed towards the blessings that are coming towards your life. Because there's a lot of doors that are opening up for a lot of empaths right now. A lot of y'all are being activated to the next chapter. So when you're opening up that next chapter, everything is being heightened towards you. So there's a lot of things you might be sensitive on. Like y'all know, if you've been with me for a while, you know things get real sensitive with me. Because you'll either, the static in my, my videos, and I apologize if that's still going on. But it's just the energy. That gives off on me at times, so I do apologize that for the jacked up sound quality. It comes and goes. So or a lot of times you'll see my aura move or you'll see flashing of lights in my videos. Because there's sometimes I can do this and all of a sudden, you know, my, my, uh, my, everything starts lighting up a lot. Uh, towards my videos so it's like my en uh, energy can be really crazy especially if I beckon you know the universe to give me energy to be able to project upon myself with my mind body and spirit to be able to project onto you to be able to send that as well because you're you know you're going through different things you might need to feel something at that time so all these different things are occurring to you you probably have different spirit spirit totems like different animals are coming towards your way that you might not you know it'll catch you off guard because if they start you know flying around you this is summertime so you're going to see a lot of butterflies you're going to see you know a lot of different animals squirrels you know sometimes they come to your attention they might look right there at you and start speaking to you so those are the things you need to look for i always tell people google is your best friend if there's something you see that you may not you want to know because you could be thinking something at the time and you can see a squirrel and it jumps you know jump in front of your car or something like that where you're going home or heading out to go to work or whatever when you get that time you know go ahead and look and see what this certain animal was you know uh trying to relay a message to you so all these different things are coming out but it's just like we are the ones that manifest we, we manifest anything that we focus upon like in, you know light attracts like so you have to be very careful about where you engage your thoughts on i have to be you know i have to tell myself that a lot because it's like with us purging as well there's a lot of, if you have been through some hardships there's going to be some memories that are trying to purge out i'm like why the hell can't y'all just leave you know, you ain't even got to tell me goodbye, right? I, I don't care. You can just leave. You ain't even got to announce yourself. But, you know, those things, you know, our memories don't do that. So they're, surface, they're coming towards the surface, coming towards the, you know, the forefront. So you have to be able to tell the universe, you know, I want to release these in love and light. You know, there could be certain people that you have had, you know, qualms with or whatever, whatever you want to call it situations certain situations with you know and you really need to make peace with that do not be hateful i tell people especially if they've been mean to you don't go don't don't retaliate back because that makes you no better than the person that was doing it you know if you can just tell them hey you know i'm not trying to be all this and this and that <laughs> but we gonna have to you know we're gonna have to stop this right here especially if it's disrupting your peace everybody needs to be happy everybody needs the peace of mind and um and be able to do their thing so it's just like all these different things are occurring for a reason you're stepping into a new uh stepping into a new chapter of your life where only god can open that door nobody can you know shut that door for you i know you probably heard that god opens a door that no man can shut you know because there's a lot of people that'll be happy for you and your upgrade in life or there'll be some they'll be kind of hating on you so don't worry about those people you just stay focused on you and just pay for them so all these different things are occurring for a reason you know as i've been getting so many different contents you know i meditate before i start doing my videos and all these different things you know universal send towards me that other people may need to hear at this time you know if you know that things are seeming kind of off to you you know things might be looking up it's all about how you look at it because i always feel like even with my situation if you've been with me for a while and i always tell people if you don't you might uh you know google something or you know look for typed in some information you just popped up to see my videos i got almost like 1300 videos that i have put 
um, on YouTube. So, you know, all these different things, I've, I've covered a lot of different content. And I always tell people, if you stay on my channel, you love my videos, you love the vibes that you get the information, look at my look at my intro video and that allows you to know why I started doing my videos. All these different things have occurred. So um, basically, pay, like I said, pay attention to your thoughts, pay attention to your energy, meditate as much as you can, get out of nature as much as you can, see what nature speaks to you about. There's I always tell people, listen to the things that are not being said. Pay attention to the things that are not, you know, or being unseen and that you can probably see. Because there's a lot of things that are coming to you and it might be like in riddles. So you have to really pay attention. You know, you probably hear, you know, voices in your head, not as in, you know, Lulu. But, you know, like different things that your ancestors, spirit guides are sending you towards your way. So you got to really pay attention to those things. So it, um, I hope you are able to resonate with the con um, content of my video. I hope everybody has a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. If you have anything occurring to your life, please let go of it within love and light as well. You have too many blessings that are coming in. I always tell people, I also have to remind myself, your blessings are a lot bigger, bigger than the problems that are occurring into your life. Those issues that you're, you're dealing with right now is going to give you growth for you know heading towards that next chapter so i would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, nakia howard i mean howell and casey shaw much love to you as well so like and subscribe give me a thumbs up share you know tell people about the channel you know especially if you have some you know impasse or going through some stuff and need questions whatever please go ahead and share uh drop me a line so i can give you a post notification shout out or even let me know if this you know is if this video is resonating with you as well so i will see you on my next video i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend once again and i hope all the the things that you're working hard for comes up you know infusion into your life and i'll see you on my next video much love peace